Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of May 31st, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate Bond ETF was a previous suggested short. Today, we suggest to buy it. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a weak opportunity to buy utility sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $74.62. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.19. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell discretionary sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $147.74. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.11. Energy sector ETF was a previous suggested short sector. Today, we suggest to buy it. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Marathon Petroleum. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $101.31. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.94. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Kinder Morgan has a sell put strike price at $19, a buy put strike price at $19.5, a buy call strike price at $20, and a sell call strike price at $20.5. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.15. Financial sector ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that financial sector ETF is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $34.58. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $35.47, unless is overvalued. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Bank of America. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $36.75. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.32. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Morgan Stanley has a sell put strike price at $80, a buy put strike price at $82, a buy call strike price at $87, and a sell call strike price at $93. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.67. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, PayPal Holdings has a sell put strike price at $75, 
a buy put strike price at $80, a buy call strike price at $90, and a sell call strike price at $92.5. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.3. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Eli Lilly and company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $315.02. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $2.85. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Eli Lilly and Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Eli Lilly and Company is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 10.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $335.15. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $313.44, unless is undervalued. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Pfizer Incorporated has two buy calls strike price at $53.5, and at $53, and a sell call strike price at $53.25. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.02. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Honeywell Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $193.75. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1.9. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell FedEx Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $220.68. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.12. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Boeing Company has two buy calls strike price at $127.5 and at $132.5 and a sell call strike price at $130. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.41. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Caterpillar Corporation has two buy calls strike price at $212.5 and at $217.5 and a sell call strike price at $215. This spread option will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.4. Honeywell Incorporated was a previous suggested short stock. 
Today, we suggest to buy it. Material Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Material Sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Dupont Dynamores. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $67.32. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.67. Dupont Dynamores is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $67.32, but we expect a possible sell price of $68.99. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Dupont and Moores. If it is over 1.70% of your stock price trade, this is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Dupont Dynamores has a sell put strike price at $66, and a buy put strike price at $68. For this spread option, it will expire on June 3, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.67. Discretionary Sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Starbucks Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $74.45. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.07. The Home Depot was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Costco wholesale. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $451.09. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.44. Technology Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Technology Sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Qualcomm Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $139.54. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.76. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility Sector ETF is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $74.62 but we expect a possible buy price of $73.64. In addition, we suggest to stop buying utility sector ETF, if it is below 1.90% of your stock price trade.
let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $75.58. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.46. Bitcoin was a previous suggested long cryptocurrency. Today, we suggest to sell it. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Cardano. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 16.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $0.54. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.